David Iwoshiga has always had a passion for numbers and sports. I was a former varsity athlete. I ran track and field growing up. And uh, growing up, I watched the movie Moneyball. I saw that and I said, yeah, I want to do that with the rest of my life. The data scientist is part of a club at the University of Waterloo in Ontario, along with his friend Matthew Chow. Recently, the two were part of a research team that analyzed the age when track and field athletes reach their peak performance. We found that most athletes are participating in the Olympics at the, around the age of 27. And coincidentally, the peak age of these athletes when they reach their time, whether or not it happens at the Olympics is also 27. The researchers looked at data for every Olympic track and field athlete since 1996. Knowing when your peak will be, you can predict when that's going to happen. And looking back, some big Canadian names hold true to the trend. Donovan Bailey was 28 when he set a PB and won gold in the 100 meters at the Olympics in Atlanta. Brianne Tyson Eaton was 26 when she peaked in the heptathlon at the Hypo meeting in 2015. And Andre de Grasse was also 26 when he got his bronze and PB in the 100 meters in Tokyo. It's an important question for national Olympic committees because they're always planning not just for the Paris Olympics, but four years down the road, eight years down the road. Sports medicine physician Dr. Patty McCluskey is working with Team Canada for Paris 2024. He cautions training harder for the Olympics isn't always the answer as athletes chase their best performance regardless of age. So you're the, the best of the best and there, there's not a lot of margin for error when it comes to more training stimulus and if you're not taking care of yourself, managing recovery, then you may run into issues with injuries and when you're injured not training, you're less likely to get to the next level. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.